Hey you guys, it's Riley again, and, um, so t today's, sorry I'm a bit late, but today's vlog is all about, um, just, well, I don't really have a script, it's just, just speak to the camera, like, the camera's, like, I speak to the camera like it's my friend, so the, but today's topic is mostly going to be on girls and how they're underage and wear makeup. Like, no. Like, at my school, I already said, you can only wear makeup on Wednesdays. And I see girls coming into my classroom, and they're like 8 and 9. And they're wearing lipstick and makeup and completely see in top that has like little splotches that are see-through. And they're only wearing like what the heck is that? And like, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're like six, or they're like nine, and, and I'm tell and I'm like, oh my gosh, you don't need to wear, m you don't need to wear makeup. You're like, and you don't need to wear that top. You're, and it's in the middle of winter. You're gonna freeze. Like, no, I tell them that, and I tell them that, and and like, I'm not saying they should listen to me and like just completely stop it, but like middle of winter they're gonna freeze and i keep on telling them you could get frostbit like somewhere like your arms or something and your arm could get cut off if you get a bad frostbite and they just don't listen and a bunch of the people there they think it's a good idea for them they like i have makeup because like i i don't wear it in public and then like a really 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 special occasion like for my birthday i wore like lipstick and a bit of eyeshadow and blush and that's it i don't even own well i do own cover but i i hardly wear it and i only use my makeup for special occasions and like blind makeovers that's like all i use it for and when my, i bring my makeup to school sometimes and that's because at my school we have <coughs> We have like this school sleepover, we sleep over there and I do it because my friends like me doing their makeup and they like using my makeup because some of them don't have makeup. So I just bring it for them and I sometimes I put makeup on but I do my friends makeup sometimes. And everybody, and I'm not saying I sh like I have a phone and that's because I'm, I'm sometimes me and my friends make plans at school on like a Friday like exactly that day to go like to me to go home with someone and my mom likes me to text her or call her to tell me where I so I can tell her where I am I'm not saying I just leave without telling her I ask her I say can I go to my friend's house today it's fine with her it's fine with her mom it's fine with her aunt it's fine with her dad it's fine with you know I say that and then she's like okay or sometimes she says no and then she just says Text me where you are. Text me what time to pick you up. Text me if you can't, if you, it t turns out you can't sleep over. I'm like, okay, I will. So, and then I have my phone for game. Like, I have a couple pages of game. I only use it for games, music, and texting my mom and my, and my friends and stuff. And I use it mostly, f I only use it to call my mom and to text my friends. That's, and games and music, that's all. And pictures, of course. I don't. I don't use it for like Instagram or anything. Like I'm, I have an Instagram, but I'm getting rid of it. And like people at my school, they're like, they're like ten, and they're bringing, and they're bringing to school their i their their new iPods, and I think that's stupid. Like, cause mine gets kept, kept like my my teacher has like this little basket where I put like where you have to put all your electronics, but some people just don't tell you they're bringing it. They just hide it in their desk. And I keep mine up there in, until lunch, where I take it, and then I bring it. And, like, they leave it in their desk or in their jacket pocket, and someone can just go up and access, and think it's their jacket pocket and stick their hand in and find an iPod and just take it. And, like, no one would know it was them. Because I could just take the case off and, like, throw it out or something. And then, like, put it in their pocket and be like, no, this, this, I've seen your iPod. It doesn't have it. Yours has a case. Mine doesn't have a case. They can do that. Mine stays with me. It, my, when I'm sick, it's, 
this phone never leaves my hand. Like, it's, like, I'm not saying I go like this all day. It just never leaves my sight. And I only let four people touch it besides me. My mom, my sister, my friends, and my dad. Those are the only people I let touch my phone. Unless I'm holding it like this. Letting them play on it like this. Like, I don't really trust them. I'm not saying I don't trust my other friends. It's just, I only really can trust one person. Because she's, like, really careful. She doesn't let anybody touch it. Unless she comes up and asks me. Like, she's very careful with it. And she's, like, and she's my sweetest friend in the whole entire world. She's so sweet. She's so nice. And, like... You know who I'm talking about. If you ever see this, you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about you. You. My name starts with an R. Not my name. Yeah. And like... I use it for like songs. Like I use it to like Shazam songs. If you don't know what Shazam is, it's like this app. Where you can hold up to your radio or something and then figure out what a song's name is and who it's written by. And. And. I only have one, two, three. Seven games on my phone. And then make sure I'm on. Actually, eight. I only have eight games on my phone, and that's it. The rest are, the rest are stuff I can't delete, like messaging and settings and phone and contacts and stuff like that. And I only have, like, my friends' contacts. I only have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I only have twelve contacts. And, like, half of them are, like, emergency contacts, and the other half are, like, friends contacts, and that's it. And this one girl only comes to school on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, she's probably not going to go to and I'm middle school next year. I'm sorry. Hopefully she doesn't know I'm talking about her or him. If you do, I'm sorry, but it's true. You never show up at school. I'm joking. You always show up at school. Okay. Okay. Um, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? People come to school on Wednesday with their hair up. And I already mentioned this. Your hair has to be up on every day except for Wednesday because Wednesday is civvies and, and you have to keep your shirt tucked in every single day except for Wednesday and some people come to school with their hair on Wednesdays with their hair up, their shirt tucked in, their dress shoes and I'm like this is the only day at school where you can wear whatever you want you're t practically wearing a better version of our uniform they're like, what? No, I'm not. And, like, you're wearing the exact same dress shoes you wear every day. You're tucking your shirt and you're keeping your hair up. Like, no. Like, some people do that and it's okay with it. But I think Wednesday is the only day you you have to yourself to do it, to wear whatever you want. Makeup I already covered, civvies I already covered, crop top, oh, I didn't cover crop tops. Like, in the warm season here, people at my school decide to wear tank tops that are, like, so inappropriate for their age. I see nine-year-olds coming, like, I see third graders coming to school wearing a top that says, Something, like, really inappropriate, like, just do it, like, like, just do S-H star T, like, what the, you're a third grader, and, and, like, no, like, in sixth grade and up, I'm fine with that, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to
to be like an 11 year old parent or anything but like seriously like your kids shouldn't be wearing that and especially for people in my grade who just moved up to our grade they're still in fourth grade because my because my teacher covers fourth fifth and sixth grade i'm in sixth grade and the third graders there they wear like on the warmers whether they wear like fishnets with jean shorts like this long and i'm like no you can't do that and like it's just really cold in here and like and like they wear a bra and they're like nine and they're wearing cupped bras no i don't even wear cupped bras and i'm like three years older than you well like 12 i'm two years older than you and i don't even wear a cup bra i don't even wear a bra sometimes i mean say that on youtube okay they wear cupped bras i don't even wear cupped bras like seriously that's like so and they wear completely CC shirts too, like not completely, like plastic CC. But like they wear tops like this, but white, with little splotches of CC like everywhere, all over their top. And I'm like, no, I don't say this to them, but I'm thinking, no, don't do this, don't ruin your life. Like, if I did that when I was younger, my life would have been a wreck right now. I'm sorry, but it's true, don't do that, please. I don't say this out to them, but I'm thinking, oh my gosh, please don't do that. Don't ruin your life. And, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, can you please not do that? You're going to freeze. It's Canada. It's not California. It's not Texas. It's Canada, please. This video, I think this video is way too long. Okay, anyway. Now it's time to get on to the important stuff. I think that's it. Bye. It's Riley, it's Riley, it's Riley. Make sure you like it, you subscribe it. Sorry. And you, um, what's that? Oh yeah, tell me what to talk about, tell me what to do in the the next Riley doesn't know what to do so she makes pointless YouTube videos yay so make sure to comment and tell me what to do and tell me what to talk about and if you want a shout out for like your birthday or something leave that in the comments below so yeah subscribe like comment don't forget I I rarely I, I don't really like doing shout outs but I will if it like if it's your birthday like, you want me to say Merry Christmas to a loved one or something like that, I'll do that for sure. But I won't say, I won't do a shout out saying, Dear Riley, can you say my name? My name is Jen. Yeah, you say, you just said my name. Now I'm officially famous on YouTube. Please say my name in every video. Thank you. Bye. Oh, by the way, this was Jen. Jen wrote this. I'm not going to do shout outs like that. Do shout outs like this. Can you please say Merry Christmas to my loved one? Her name is Liz. His name is John. I'll do that. Or I'll, I'll even do this. Hi, my name's Amy. Uh, it's my birthday tomorrow. Can you do a shout out for me? I'll do that. Like, don't do like pointless shout outs like, like what I just did. Like, I'll do shout outs, not pointless ones. Like, hi, my name's Jen. That one. No. I won't do that. If you say, oh my gosh, can you please mention my name and my friend's name? Oh my gosh, please, 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 please mention my name. I might do those. And, yeah, if you leave really good suggestions, I'll do them. But I hate cinnamon, okay? So no cinnamon challenge, like I said last week. No cinnamon challenge. Possibly the cereal challenge, if I can get my mom to say yes. I'll do the flower challenge again. I'm really upset I'm saying this, but I'll do the milk and water challenge. If you guys don't know what that is, it's where you have to get half a, like, a glass this big. 
and fill half of, like, this much half of milk and the rest half of water and drink some of it. And drink one, like, one. Okay, bye.